This week's edition of The Legend of Ben Day Mustaine is brought to you once again by Diet Water. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. And as everyone is probably still in the midst of celebrating Valentine's Day here on the 14th and preparing for that biggest of all sales, Chocolate the 15th sales, whenever all the hell, all of the Valentine's candy goes on sale to be gotten rid of, make sure when you're engorging yourself with all that fine chocolate that you use that one product that has all of that great water taste but is not going to add a single calorie to all of those chocolate calories that you're chugging down and that would be the one the only diet water this product's only available in stores where it's sold good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are time zone wise on this island earth this is kentucky hawkeye ky hawkeye your host here on hawkeye's old time gaming emporium it is Wednesday night, so our special behind the counter, our Dark Urge Fudge Sundays. Virgil is getting a batch of those made up right now. Get your order into Tori, and she will bring it out to you, to your booth or table shortly. And since it's Wednesday night, that means it's time for Baldur's Gate 3, where, where we are still in the midst of our story. The legend of Ben de Mustaine, our gold dragonborn paladin. Primary members of his party are Astarian, the vampire. We have the Githyanki Lazel, and we have a Cleric of Shar, Shadowheart. So this makes for an interesting combination of people here, focusing just on these four, for this play anyway. So back at, at it after being out a few weeks with the flu and such, so... Without any further ado, since we used all the ado making dinner last night, let's go ahead and get things started. My character is a little encumbered right now, primarily because, I, if I remember right, we were going to sell some stuff. But let's get this potion of, at, of animal speaking going in on us first. Now, I don't think anyone else has anything ritual that we routinely cast get anything going with these i gotta keep this straight from the offline plays that i've got going no 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 what about shadow no nah, uh, let's see anything ritual that we need to do Action. <coughs> oh, there it is right there. <coughs> Speak with animals. <coughs> and long strider. So. I thought we had some. Nope, it's not going to cast that onto him. Okay. Now. No, she can only cast that on herself. Okay. Alright, where's Lazel? There she is. And me. <coughs> all right. No time to rest. We're all rested up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and head back out here. We're here in the castle. Oh, that's right. We left off here. And we need to give him a hammer, right?
<clears throat> oh, we've been seen. That did not quite work as planned. All right, Shadow. What do we want to do here? Ah, Radiant Orb. Not quite. All right, not enough resources. Mass healing on everyone. Give us some boost. All right, Fury and Death. Let's do some Fury and Death. Oh, that's right. I'm encumbered. It's only a matter of time till we're served up to the necromancer on a platter. All right, Asterian. All right, takes him down. Now, loot him real quick. Send that to camp, send everything to camp. And let's go through our stuff and get rid of the stuff that's got me encumbered. I'm going to send that to Asterion. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Does that help un encumber me? What else do I want to go ahead and get rid of here? I think I was going to sell those off where I just hadn't taken care of them yet. The Sentinel Shield. All right. Now we're <clears throat> Didn't I give him that hammer? Hang on. <clears throat> Oh. 
Where'd the hammer go? Your feet fly fast, my friend. <clears throat> Any luck with those tools? Did I pick it back up? Okay. Where'd it go? Do I need to start this whole over? Did I lose the hammer? All right, let's start over. Something didn't work right. <clears throat> Let's try this again. All right. Wits and blades always sharp. All right, time to get to it. Long Strider on herself. Long Strider on. Whoop. Have to keep pushing. <clears throat> and where am I? There we go. <clears throat> now let's go back to me. Clean out inventory. <clears throat> Stuff that we don't need to carry with us. I said send to camp. Let's get this stuff all cleared out. Send those back to camp for now as well. <coughs> get my throat cleared out here. That'll help. Okay, now I can move normal. All right. Let's try this again. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Um, where's the hammer? All right, what's going on here? Very dead. All right, what's wrong here? What tool do I need to bring him? Her cage is located in the Thorn Mausoleum. We got to head to there now. <clears throat> Anything that can break rock will do. All right, hang on. Let's go back to camp. <laughs> 
something that'll break rock. All right, what's inside here they can use to break rocks up with? <clears throat> Is that hammer's not doing doesn't seem to do the trick. A war pick, maybe. Warhammer, maybe. Mace, not really. Lump hammer, here we go. <clears throat> that might do it. <clears throat> Anything else that would be useful? We'll see if a shovel does it for him as well. Wouldn't hurt. Worst case scenario, we send it back here. All right, get those all sorted back out. Now, let's try this again once more with feeling. <coughs> Come on, what's going on here? <clears throat> oh, we're all very, very dead. Your feet fly fast, my friend. All right, what's going on? Any luck with those tools? Yes, I do. Good work. There we go. Until it's quiet and then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody moonlight will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready.
All right, there we go. Arrested for assault. Judging by the look on this guard's face, you're getting off lightly. <clears throat> Wait for them to make their moves. Okay. Everybody get out. I'm going to put that over here. Uh oh, calling reinforcements. <clears throat> but for how long? They able to get out? Looks like it. All right, let's look around. See what we can find. Uh-oh. Can Shadow do a Sacred Flame on him? We can try. <clears throat> Alright, can she get past? All right, let's do this, Ben. Hope your soul is in good hands. Ooh, this one's got some numbers on them. 
We have to do a smite next time. All right. Points is points. We're whittling them down good. Let's get you in here. Now, does he have some? Yes, he does. All right. Sonic Backlash. <clears throat> what have they got? Gold. Potion of Angelic Reprieve. Oh, I didn't mean to. Did I drink that? Oops. Give that to Starion. Give that to Astarian. Okay, send that to camp, hang on to that key, hang on to the candle. Spell Crook's Amulet, Spell Slot Restoration, doesn't necessarily do anything for me. Let's send it to Shadow, she might be able to put it to use. Half Plate Armor, Long Sword, Prison Key. Anything of note here? Nope. Prison log. But that opens up all the cell doors, doesn't it? Yep. Cool. All right, wooden barrel. Hang on. All right, let's get in position here so we can see what we want to look at. A wooden chest. Asterion, if you would be so kind. Asterion? Yes, I got a chest I want you to look at. All right, prison key worked. What do we got? Gold. Arrows. Good for you. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. Map of the Sword Coast from the Sea of Moving Ice down to just north of Amn. Including several of the near archipelagos in the Sea of Swords. A large red arrow stretches out from the east, then branches into numerous small arrows fanning out across the land to signify the Absolute's planned conquest. Take that if we can. All right. <laughs> we got a door here. And we got a ladder here. Let's take care of that scrying eye. <coughs> a gold chalice, gold ring, a necklace, more invasion plans for the Sword Coast. Well, let's just steal all of them so they don't have any of them. And let's check out the chest. <coughs> <coughs> nope, it's regular locked. Of course. Okay, Asterion, do your thing. <coughs> Normally for you, it is 16. All right, that's 10, 14. Guaranteed 15, so as long as you roll... I'm just creating some chaos with doing that. 
with opening all the cell doors. What do we got here? Oil of Bane. Greater Healing. Cloud Giant Finger. Well, no. I want to send that to camp. Frost Salamander Tongue. Send to camp. Good to have you with us here, Kurt Witch. Chasm Creeper. Send to camp. Sylvan Stone. And Hill Giant Finger. All right, next one over. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. We'll nail this one fairly easily. Very good. And what's in the cabinet here? Nothing. All right, switch back to Ben. What's in the pouch? Oh, they didn't switch over. Nothing. All right. These are locked. Oh, prison key worked for that. Brow beaten circlet. Gains plus one to a spell save DC while threatened. Send that to camp. What's in this one? Nothing. Okay. Nothing else of note here that I can see. Wolbrin's hammer. That could have come in handy earlier. Chain shirt. Oil flask. Some thin shoes. And a trap disarm kit. All right, let's go back to Ben. Anything else over here to look at? Nope, let's head back down. <clears throat> yeah, some nice bonuses there. All right, what do we have out this way? Oh, wrong button. A rib cage, some candles. Otherwise, it looks like a heavily bloody mess. All right, I don't think I want to go down there. Inside that. So let's head back. All right, what's in the crate? Anything? Nope. Anything of interest this way? Nope, just more of the same of that stuff. All right, let's head back this way. We've helped those gnomes get free. Uh-oh. Someone's waiting for us. All right, Shadow. <clears throat> Let's get something nice and burning going. And let's renew that again just to be safe. All right. Let's go, Asterian. Nice shooting. Almost took him out. Well done.
All right, anything here of value? Another key. And a quarterstaff. All right, they don't seem... We don't seem to have been noticed by anything else. No need to trigger a battle if we don't need to. All right, we're back here on the main floor. All right, that's where all the salespeople were. What we got this way? Oh, interesting. Zealot Iagar. And this ogreish, trollish kind of thing. And an acolyte. Now, is this the person we talked to earlier? I don't know. Let's go chat. Hush. Neat sounds above. Here. For a moment, you do hear it. A flash sliding on stone. Like a living being extending through the walls. near kitchen but big ban not allowed to pet nose oh poor thing you find me <clears throat> okay meanwhile let's talk to you see what's going on So you say. You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trusco. I know we're all <coughs> under the absolute, but you do not want to bunk with an ogre. So what do we get here? Any place? Anything? Nope. What used to be something. All right, it's marked white. It's community property. Asterian. Camp. Take. All right. All right, let's see what's over here. I think it just takes us outside, but let's take a quick peek. Yep, outdoors. All right, let's head back in. We'll be kind, we'll shut the door. Back out the way we came. Let's do some more exploring in here. <laughs> Don't have anything to sell at the moment.
I haven't been over here yet. Oh really? Be a blood bath, so it would. I won't fail the absolute like the others. Honest, I won't. I was always the smartest. Sure. I caught a glimpse of Ketherick and Zarel. Wouldn't have the gumption to stick my nose in like you did. All right, let's go this way, see what we find. All right, that is not reassuring. Let's shut the door behind us. All right. Let's get to where you can see what we're doing here. Well, let's hit the right buttons here. That would help. A silver cake stand. Dried pork sausage. Oh. We see some mucus. Get these food supplies here. Okay. Not necessarily something good to mess with. All right, let's go this way, see what we find. Oh, I think we found the knolls. Some knolls. <sighs> a moment, true soul. Do you use the spoon to serve a soup, Barnabas? Get the axe, my darling. Hmm. Is she training them? Barnabas. I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. <clears throat> You've actually stood before the Absolute. You've trained him, I'll let you decide. A prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. Hmm. 
Seems perhaps you're not as commanding as you think. Oh. She killed it. You almost make this audience sound dangerous. You ascend the tower as a <coughs> soul. And return as something more. If you return at all. Hmm. What is it giving you a second chance, love? Don't waste it. Hmm. It's over here. <coughs> More outdoors. Okay. All right, let's go back inside. Okay. Looks so like the only other place to go. Anything else will be stealing. We don't want to trigger anything as of yet. Let's go this way. Well, we're back outside again. What's this? The feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye. Intent clear. Murder. Glorious murder. Well, let the cat sniff. We do have the ability to... Uh, No, nope, not going to be enough. And I'm not going to waste an insight. An inspiration on that. Alright. Guess someone doesn't want to talk. A cat hole. I'm way too big. Okay, let's go back this way. Who's this? She sees everything we are. Do you understand? Yeah. Very, Very happy, happy kitty. From her. Okay. Who do we have here? It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services if you're willing. What does a trader in blood actually do? Myself. 
And uh, what exactly will you do with the blood you keep? Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. I have an innate curiosity for all things sanguine. What kind of potion is this, exactly? No idea. But it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? Oh, do I do this or not? Just a little prick and it's all over. Close your eyes. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. <coughs> Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. Oh, really? I assume he belongs to you? <clears throat> we travel together, that's all. Okay. Want to be bitten. To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Okay. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate for you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale. But it's yours. If you bite me. I will have to... <coughs> Mm. Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Uh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? I'm surprised, Astarian. I thought you'd jump at a chance like this. I can smell it from here. It's rank. What do you mean? What's wrong with her blood? I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me, but it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day. <coughs> Hmm. It's up to you, Astarian, but we could use that potion. Fine. I'll do it. Darling, hmm. I've had a sudden change of heart. After all, who could resist such a delectable neck? Hold very, very still. I didn't think he'd do it when I ch chose that one. Ooh. Okay, so she's a vamp girl. Dragonborn prowess, fire, everlasting vigor. Okay, we're going to have to look these two up to see what these do. All right, let's sort everything by type.
Everlast permanently increases your strength by two. Ooh, do I want to do this for me? Or do I want to do this maybe for Lazel? And what was the, where's the other one? It was something dragonborn. Dragonborn prowess. Here we go. <coughs> Advantage on intimidation, persuasion checks, resistance to fire damage. Can use fireball once until your next long rest. That could come in handy. Now. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Let's look everybody's scores up here. All right, Ben has a strength of 16. Asterion has a strength of 8, but it is an 8. Lazelle is already at 18. So I could either pull up even with Lazelle myself, or I could bump her to 20. Interesting choice. I'm tempted to do it for Ben to get them even. <clears throat> All right, so. All right, she was <coughs> interesting, shall we say? <coughs> okay, what's this way? All right, that puts us back where we already were. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Where does this go? go? Oh, this puts us there. And this brings us out here. All right, where do I want to go now? I think we've done everything down below here. All right. <clears throat> so what do we got here? Oh, the suspicious sounds. We need to head back that way. And what were these other markers here? The mausoleum, we need to head that way. And we need to take <coughs> the ledger to him. All right. All right, this is where the strange sounds supposedly come from. All right, can I do something dumb and stupid here? Let's do a save. All right, I can't do anything to it. But there's supposedly something making sounds in there. Okay. 
But we will leave that for another time. <clears throat> oh, that's where we came in at. Okay. I got myself turned around. All right. No. All right, this is where we killed them off. So now we go upward. All right, before we go there, there was a ladder over here. Was there not? <clears throat> no. Where was it? No. Ah, here it is. <coughs> Here's where it is. Where does this letter go to? All right, let's try something here. Aha, uh -huh, something over here. All right, let's do an Arcana check here. Hey, Phantom! Good to have you here with us tonight. Let's do an Arcana check. <clears throat> and let's get some guidance as well. That puts me at plus five, so nine or better. Got it. <clears throat> Mm. Same alien presence you felt on the Nautiloid. All right, let's do a save before we reach in. Ben's too curious. All right. Strength. I wish I'd drank that potion now. Plus four. Plus three. I'm going to have to do a strength. I'm going to have to risk it here. Not even close. Oh, just barely got it. With a soft sucking sound, your hand pulls free. 
the flesh within the wall retreats. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I'd have to get involved. Now, let's keep <laughs> our ourselves, hmm? All right. All right, that was in, in more interesting than I expected it to be. But, all right, let's head back. Anything of interest here? Not really. All right, let's head back down. I guess I could have walked it around. I didn't need to do a bunch of all that jumping, but it felt good. All right, I'll have that till the end of the long rest here. All right, now, back where we were going to go before. Let's get the map up here. All right, this is the direction we need to come. All right, everyone. Your chance here. Let's make a choice here. Do we want to go up the stairs on the left or the right? I don't know if they both lead to the same place or not, but which way should we go? Left or right? <clears throat> Let's see. Do a die roll here, I guess. Odds and evens. Odd right, even left. <coughs> And we rolled us a five. So we're going to go to the right. If I can hit the right keys here. <coughs> Looks like we lead, all got led to the same place. The globe. Let's take a look. All right. Nothing much there. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Oh, we got orcs. Of the A map of Baldur's Gate depicting Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City, as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor and the near course of the Chionthar. Anything in the desk? Just a quill. Nothing else worth looking at? Okay, what is the zealot over here have to say? No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. Okay. Is 
some sort of tapestry there. We're on the main floor now. What do we have here? Okay, we got people here. A necromite, another necromite. We got a doorway here leading to something and a locked door there. All right, let's head this way. General Thorne's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, disciples, Ram? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. <clears throat> the goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across. Not used to them going into mine first. Tons of psychic flame lap at the memory of the goblins dying by your hand. I see you like to handle underlings physically. So do I. Any more to punish? No. Let's see. Sounds like being your underling would be quite enjoyable. Ah, uh, no, not really. A waste of my time. I didn't come here to clean up other people's mistakes. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. She parts the folds <clears throat> again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Distract her thoughts of your dalliance with Lazel. Fake it. Fill it, your mind with love for the absolute. Persuasion, I got a plus 13. Deception, only a plus 8. Distract her by drawing her toward your hunger for power or wisdom. Overwhelm her by unleashing a wave of hatred. Oh! This could be fun. I got a plus 13 here, and I only need a 14. Let's go ahead and get guidance. We're not going to waste that. We don't need it, so we'll save that for another time when we do. been blessed to stand in her presence it was bliss she gave me everything I wanted everything what exactly do you want to take without asking to feel without doubting and to kill without consequence in a word freedom A little abstract, show me something real. Sounds good. How do I get what I want? Freedom. Your only purpose is to serve Catherick and the Absolute. I choose to serve, and I'm glad to. Your words are dangerously close to heresy, true soul. Dangerously close. 
Don't you aspire to rule rather than to serve? Of course. And when Baldur's Gate falls, it won't be long until those that serve General Thornwell will rule the Sword Coast alongside him. You can be among them. I have a mission that will earn you the General's favor. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. <clears throat> I like to serve. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorne requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorne family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. And what if Balthazar is dead? Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. You said you lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We are protected here. But outside, the shadows are hungry. What exactly was this relic he was sent to retrieve? It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. Hey, nice try. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. Hmm. Plus eight. Plus nine. Talking of this relic makes you anxious. Why is that? Alright. We'll definitely do the voice of the circle here. That's going to give us an 11. So 7 or better. I'm going to save that elixir. For another time. Boom! Boom! All right, here we go. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. <sighs> Understood. I'm ready to head out. Okay, <coughs> so we can go to Balthazar's room. <coughs> That's an ornate door we're not allowed to go through. <coughs> I want to talk to her real quick. It is not your time, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. I've heard that those lucky few come back changed. You are already changed, true soul. Hearing her voice is what brought you here. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciple Zrel has given you a chance mm. to earn that honor. What's with the skeletons? Does the absolute dabble in necromancy now? Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve, whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. Okay. Now, we don't have the key to there, so we need to go this way, I think. All right, anything in the desk? Just quill and ink. A 
anything in this desk just a quill and this one more of the same okay <clears throat> let's come over here wicker basket rotten tomato Ooh, absolute outfit adorned with the tripartite symbol of the absolute. This symbol of black and green presents the wearer as either a mocker or a devotee or someone who likes to likes the cut and color or someone who is cold. Asterion wouldn't look bad in half bad in that. We can check that out later. Ah, wrong button. A little gift. Inventory check. What was that? A plain, unadorned note. Let's read it. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for how rare these appendages are, and I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting, but I am afforded the opportunity. I shall pass along your gratitude. B. I presume that means B as in Balthazar. Beheading the bitter roots. Nothing there. There's Zarel again. More plans for invading the gate. We're using the room key, so we're allowed in. Let's close the door behind us. Oh, you gotta love the decor of this place. Engraved, you think, you disc. In fact, let's send it to Lazel right now. Interesting. This or a, a heart. I don't know if I can use that for compounding or not. Collapsed book. 
All right, let's take a look. This is a log on the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter, dated two ten day ago. Not long. After the state the fallen one was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping that the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Cressa was studying Cressa studying it is going to prove much. It was damaged in the attack far beyond what the mere tadpole could do. But she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. Another entry seems to be written into this log, dated a ten day later. I should not have, in insight, hindsight, let Cressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped onto one of the nautiloids to be deployed, she has been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the absolute, and now my best assistant is distracted thinking about it. Pah. She'll come to heal again soon enough. Okay. Get back over here. Just a candelabrum. A sensor. And a fluorite shard. Severed pelvis, severed torso. Last retort. Oh, I didn't mean to think I could take it, but attention, acolytes. A reminder: acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While the absolute appreciate your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any requests to borrow from them must be given to me in advance. They are unlikely to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the Absolute's purpose is best, better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. Though, if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. Interesting. Surgery kit, copper brazier. Oh, we got a corpse. And a door. A heart. A candle. And some gold. Balthazar personal notes, too. Note. Install a drain near library's conventional medicines shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones. It will rust and it will rust the spikes besides. A line slashes through the above, the same hand and fresh ink below. Disregard. The smell gives me sweet dreams. Whoa. Something enchanted over there. Let's check this door out. It's unlocked. You were stopped by a guard. It seems your presence here is forbidden. Okay. <coughs> All right, let's see if this helps. All right, that'll be enough. Your words are enough to resolve the matter. Still, you need to leave. <coughs> Okay. Where am I? Uh, 
How do I get back where I was? Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. I wasn't stealing anything. I clicked on a spot. Not for communal use, it seems. <sighs> All right, how do I get... Okay, let's get back. That's weird. All right, I'm going to save because I want to try to close this door. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect or some more cunning. I'm trying to shut the door. Okay, fine. I won't shut the door. All right, we got something weird going on there. All right, anything else of note here? Okay, here's the moon lantern. Goblins. The something gambit. All right, the Sterian. I said Asterian. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that was close. Devotion Cloak. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for 1d4 damage. Alright. All right. <clears throat> All right. Conventional medicine. Galvanic inter interrogations. Misty tomes. Some poisons and venoms. All right, personal tomes again. <clears throat> Any works by Mordekainen must catch up on current events. No Volo, a better century, better century of ignorance. Hin Vellum holds ink like no other could harvest from an acolyte. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for the Library. Current volume badly scorched. Yellow musk creeper petals and some weave moss. All right. Let's look at the regular rows of books here first. A swift and sudden death. A scorched book, its pages singed and tattered, though its contents have been rendered illegible by some unknown phenomenon, so possible to make out the dedication. To those who doubted me, may the storm claim your final breaths, and the earth reject your rest. <sighs> Rest. 
Recipe of Drow Poison. Combine essence of swarming toadstool with any salt and lo, you have a dose of drow poison. As dark as goddess Loth's temper. Interesting. All right, so. Met conventional medicine, Galvic interrogations, misty tomes, and poisons and venoms. Okay, so. <clears throat> Nope. Obviously, that's not the first one. Okay. We got to fight some critters. Okay. All right. Let's quickly take these things, zombies, out here. <clears throat> Nicely done, Astarian. <sighs> Another swing. All right. Click. Something happened. Oh, poison gas. All right. <clears throat> At least we saved. No use. It's blocked. All right. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get into there. Okay. Here we go again. Uh, we may not be able to go inside there then. At least we're all saving against it. Something in there, but we can't get to it. Huh. Well, I guess we miss out on whatever that was, it, whatever's there. Oh, Traveler's Chest again. Tongue of Madness. Swarming Toadstool. Nightlight Frond. All right, Asterion. <clears throat> Ooh, class 30. We need all the bonuses here on this one. And not even close. I'm sorry, I'm curious.
Will that get us there? Just barely. <clears throat> This comes outside. Anything of note out here? Charred prayer book. My dark goddess, when I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess, when I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess, when the flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess, when the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess, I am yours. Alright. Anything else here? Alright. Let's save. And see what happens with this door. All right. <clears throat> Thirty again. Ooh, net twenty. Woo! We got it. <clears throat> Uh oh, this isn't good. Flesh, the warhound is formidable. Spectral eyes <coughs> as it growls a challenge. And then it hesitates, gleaming muzzle, sampling your scent as if in recognition. Animal handling, performance. Performance. Why not? Got it. <clears throat> the dog relaxes as if reassured by your observed protocol. It turns away and utterly ignores you, as it would any lowly foot soldier. Okay, let's get inside here. Switch back to Ben. Alright, let's check out the wicker chest here first. <coughs> Some gold. Another absolute outfit. And a silver ingot. The lever do. Doesn't appear to do anything. It's not yet. Uh oh, perception failed on something. Ah, someone else's perception failed. All right, this is locked. Mysterian. Another perception failure. Yeah, 
And that was a clutch net 20. Let's see what happens here. All right, we got our 14. As long as we don't roll double net ones, we're good. There's something here I need to keep an eye out for, though. There's some sort of trap thing that, or something that we're not picking up on. Cloak of Elemental Absorption. Absorb elemental damage once per short rest. Take half damage from the next elemental attack. Targeting you. And deal an additional 1d6 of that elemental type on your next attack. Let's send that to Shadow. Letter to Ketherick. My darling husband, I know my time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl. But I'm not writing to lament our lot. It's ours and no others. Through the city, though the city of judgment is dark, I know our lady's light will find me even there. I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task for you yet, my heart. Saluna's light shines bright in our little one, but she need, will need a guide to keep on her path. I have no doubt that she will keep you on yours. It is the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you forever, Melodia. So it does. All right, there's supposed to be something we're perceive over here. And none of us seem to be doing it. Ah, here we go. Elder Brain Domination. Confidential, dictated by to scribe Yenthus by General Kethrick. Young Gortash's plan to enslave an illithid elder brain and make it our marionette under the control of the crown of Carsus has proceeded almost without flaw. <coughs> Sorry about that. Barring the slight delay while our ballist allies sort out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement in that of the murder cult, but eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile alliance. Clearly, all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute will eventually metamorphize into something new <coughs> and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the nether stones in a single wielder is urgent. Even more so in that an ever Gortash, at least, must be thinking the exact same way. Okay, that's not good. Silver glass. Plans for all the invasions. A rich and fertile land. Depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with a special emphasis on areas for prolific foraging. Wrong button again. Saluto's so Ethic of War and an Apostate Diary. A pile of bones. Anything of note here at the desk? 
Extracting Drow Exiles. <sighs> Our Millery Sphere. Anything on the skeleton? Nope, not really. Unsent Letter. All right. That requires reading. Balthazar, I thank you for returning what was mine and will have and have no doubt all will be well once the war is won. After that, I believe our business will be concluded. A different life, a better life awaits. General Kethrick Thorm. All right. Got two locked doors here to deal with. All right, I'm going to come back over here to this lever. Ah, let's shut that door. And open that one again. Okay. <clears throat> nope, that just lights. Okay. All right, let's head back out. All right, we better close that door back up. Now, I wonder, did that reset anything? All right. All right, we're not going to be able to do that. So Let's head back out this way. All right. Interesting. It's probably where that might have led to. But. All right. Looks like we have a destination to go to now. The mausoleum. Let's make our way out. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do, or at least one more other thing we need to do. <clears throat> Is we have some unfinished business out this direction. Now, what's going to be the quickest way to get there? Looks like it's going back to the last light in. So let's pop there real quick. Looks like we just accomplished something. 
All right. Two new journal entries. Well, Brand has arrived safely at last light. Let Barkus know. More about Prince Orpheus. Oh! The tieflings arrived. Everyone made it here safely. Cool. Let's go find them. <clears throat> ah, here we go. The happy couple reunited. <clears throat> you're all right. My gods, you're all right. Come here, darling. All right. Let's smile. Let's enjoy it while we can. <clears throat> so scared I kissed you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. It's wonderful to see you two back together. You were in trouble. I wanted to help. Simple as that. You make it <coughs> but I know the lengths you've gone to on our behalf. We'll never forget it. Never ever. <laughs> Here. Take these for the road. It's the least I can do. Handmade cookies. All right, let's go find. The dark gnomes, I believe they were in here somewhere. Yeah, over here. <clears throat> Wilburn Bungle, there he is. Your friend Barkus is just around the corner. Have you said hello? Oh, well, perhaps later. Was there something else? <clears throat> what will you do when you get out of here? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bungle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. You're quite confident in yourself, aren't you? If you'd accomplished half of what the Iron Hand gnomes have, you would be too. <clears throat> How do you and Barkus know each other? Oh, we hail from the same village in the Underdark. We hung about in the same castle of children. Barkus tends to make more of it than he does. I'll leave you to your own devices. <clears throat> Meanwhile, where is the guy? All right. All right. I do not see Barkus anywhere. As he's outside here somewhere. Nope, that's not him.
Oh, well, that's not important. We got the everyone's back reunited again. Nice to have some happy ending stuff for a change. All right, back up this way. And I believe we need to go this way. Yeah, this is the route. <clears throat> Someone is waiting for us. He who was. Yes, stirs in trepidation. Tell me why you want it first. Here, take it. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial, and you will be the judge. Make her bed. Some interesting Cthulhu mascara there. <clears throat> Oath of Vengeance. When punishment is needed, my hand will not shy from the blade. Okay, this is going to get crazy. Yeah, I'd take a step back too. You. You said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Why don't you tell me what happened? If it was drunk complaining, why did you report them? The Dark Justicia said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave them a dagger each and told them to press it against their stomachs on the counter tree to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Tough choice here. Yes, it was your fault. You s reported something that was maybe a nothing burger. Pathetic, you murdered your friends, you're a coward, possibly. Anything then hurt yourself as Ben and Mark did. Stab yourself. He's an oath of vengeance. Let the punishment fit the crime. OK, 
continue. Like this. All right. <clears throat> do we do this as a test? Stop you were willing to hurt yourself. That's enough for me. <coughs> Prove you're sorry. Do it for Ben and Mark. <coughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> hmm. Is that enough, or do I make him keep going? <coughs> they want him to keep have her keep on going. You have broken her <clears throat> in ways I could not have imagined. Though I'd have preferred not bleeding quite so profusely. <clears throat> you said to punish her. I suppose it's on me for not being more specific. But Madeline suffered. That is all that matters. You have done well. Her pain and <coughs> wish were sublime. I will treasure it. Here, for your services, should I find another murderer in need of torment, I shall call upon you. Farewell. No rest for the wicked. Shadow was inspired. So, I get some gold and <coughs> raven gloves. Summon Quoth the Raven. Dark and suitably moody, these gloves are perfect for wearing when thinking about poetry. <laughs> what gloves does Shadow have? <coughs> Hill Rider's Pride. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> what are his gloves of balanced hands? Yeah. That might be tempting to give those to her. I can find where they went. There they are. All right, that'll do for now. <clears throat> now, let us head back. Moonrise Towers. <clears throat> we have a mausoleum to find.
Oh, uh, we're up at the House of Healing again. Uh-oh. We need to be careful then. Alright, where are we and where do we need to go? We need to head straight forward. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm, morgue. <clears throat> I don't think we've been in here, have we? I don't believe so. I think we need to go sneak mode here. Burlap sack. A button. Backpack. Burlap sack. Backpack. And a notice. A reminder, sisters, do not forget the patients passing through these hallowed halls must be must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewelry, timepieces, and extraneous gold amounts. These burdens can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall that they not confuse matters between ourselves and Catherine's justice ears. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings if possible. Makes me wonder exactly what this button is. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a chest. Let's check this open crate. Rags, rags, and some sandals. Ooh. Stain strange tendril amulet. Evard's black tentacles. Eldritch sigils seem to course through the metalwork on this amulet. Wooden crate. Nothing there. Nothing there. Just a rag. And some crates. All right. Not a lot to see there. <coughs> I guess let's go ahead and close that button up. That's where we came in, right? Yeah, all right. All right, let's take a look over here. Anything of note? Where are we at time-wise here? Another burlap sack. Looks like some old decrepit armor. Nothing there. All right. Just an empty bottle. Got 
Slow down. Poison cloud. Uh oh, here we go. Shar Shadow Heart, we're gonna need you to do something fun here. Can he get a bonus shot? Yep, almost took him out. All right, that's one less to worry about. All right, let's go get him, girly girl. Missed. Much better. All right, now. <clears throat> Hang on. Let's move up closer. All right, can we move up a little bit further? Good. Nicely done. Let's finish this one off. <clears throat> I didn't turn those, unfortunately. That one turn, that one's running. All right, let's make this quick. We may need to do a smite here coming up. All right, can he get a sneak shot? On this one, yes. Critical miss, of course. At that one hit. It worked out. Oh, he's still going. All right, now let's go. All right. Let's get him again. Ah, missed. Well, if you can do it again. Got him again. That's not what I meant to do, but that'll work. Opportunity attack. Take it. Finished him off. No. But Ben will. And now let's go after this one. All right, now. Missed. Missed again. All right, go get him, Lazel. Probably can't get there. 
that you can get a shot off. All right. Sacred Flame. Nicely done. Interesting. All right, so far so good. leftmost door he says all right anything else worth searching in here More lab door. What did we get here? All right, Asterion. All right, Asterion, do your magic. Ooh, this is a 30. We got plus 14. Is it going to be enough? I think we're going to be just short. Oh, man. Let's try again. Actually, well, hang on. Nope. That'll put us at 28. All right. Where is... Shadow. Let's get her over here. I need some inspir I need some guidance from you. Over here. For Asterion. Let's try it again. That guidance is going to make the difference for us here. And now, of course, we don't need it, but. Always good to have a little extra. All right, switch back to Ben here. <laughs> Excuse me. What we got here? A button. What do we have here? <coughs> There's a gilded chest over there. But otherwise, it looks like it's a pit of death. Now, I doubt it. Yeah. Too far off. We need a fly spell. 
And I don't think I've got one of those right now, so. Probably some goodies in that chest, but we can't get to it. Again, what does that button do? Anything? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> More doors over here. A dead Harper. Necrotic Laboratory Spare Key, Malachite, a gold ring, and some gold. Heavy chest, some research notes. <clears throat> Let's read those. Spell, remove shadow curse possible. Variant on remove curse to spell magic other. Recitation, umbra recitit, ineffective. Nox exodus, ineffective. Nox fit lux, potential. Nox finio, potential. Vita in umbra, ineffective. Vita cava, unintentional consequences, living armor. Gesture, a number of spellcasting gestures are traced beneath. So I was trying to figure out how to get rid of everything. Olam's Journal. Day two of darkness, I stood calm as Kethrick uttered his final curse and then withered. As my fellow harpers dragged his putrid corpse from the battlefield, I allowed myself to feel relief, even solace. A wrong had been righted, an evil thwarted, victory had come. Yet I had not had yet to know its true cost. The darkness shrouded the land like a vast cloak. It began as a chill, as if the claw of winter had gripped us. <laughs> Within hours, every breath was a dagger piercing my throat. I hungered for air like a wolf hungers for meat, yet I could still get my fill thanks to my armor. What <clears throat> would the that the men and women of Wraithwind had been so well equipped one by one they fell, only to rise as shadows of themselves, intent on extinguishing all light and all life. The shadows hang less heavy in this place. It still takes some effort to fill my lungs, but better to expend effort than unite with darkness. My trap should keep me safe, or at least safe enough. Day 5. The shadows ebb and wane. A torch flame is sometimes enough to burn them away. But no light can dispel the depth deepest of them. I called my familiar Corvin to my side, but he could scarcely take wing. Tomorrow I search not just for food and drink. I might find a scroll or an artifact or an arcane focus that can ward off this curse. Perhaps I might even find another survivor. Day 18. It's a particular loneliness in these shadows. Corvin shows great affection when I call him even as he suffers. Those few minutes are at least some comfort for both of us. It is remarkably still in here and stiller out there. I have found a few scrolls and books near the House of Healing, as well as some scattered artifacts, but they hold nothing for me. The only answers call out from within the house itself, which where I dare not enter. I hear the moans of the anguish, the shouts of the cruel. There are those who make their home in the shadows but I am no less alone for them. Day 26. I called on Corvin yet again, but I cannot bear his torment, nor can I bear my own. Gray has turned almost to black, and the air might as well be molasses or tar, so hard as it is to choke down. All beings should walk free of fear, I was taught. Oh, if only I were granted such a fine fate. Ah, we're both inspired. All 
Ah, wrong button. <coughs> Can I take it? Nope, it appears I cannot. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's check out this heavy chest over here then. <coughs> Where's everyone else at? Come on. Don't know why it has us all separated, but... All right. I wonder, too. That's why I brought you over here. All right. Let's open the fool thing. What do we got here? Bided time. The wearer gains arcane charge whenever they are hit by a melee attack. Interesting. It's a net camp. Might be useful for someone. Nothing else of note in here, so let us head this way. Come on, Ben. All right, looks like the one who's taken the most. All right, everybody together. Ah, the spare key gets us in. Ooh. Isn't this a grisly sight? I love her. Horrid and wretched sight. Is that blood on the shelves? Probably cold and congealed. Mm. Ah, some more hill giant strength. Nothing there. Blood bank. Sorry to disappoint you, but the count is emptied. Asterian. Sorry to disappoint you. All right, why isn't everybody else back up here with us? My faith will guide me. Come on, everybody up here. I've seen <clears throat> Come on. You're wasting time, Lazel. No one's stopped me yet. Light on my feet. All right, now. Hysterian. Let's disarm this thing. Okay, we got a class 14. We should be able to do it. Let's go ahead and get the guidance just to be safe. All right, a nine should get us there. Whoops. Hit a wrong spot again. We'll fix that. All right, 
what do we got? All right, now let's unlock it. All right. <clears throat> Net 20. Boom. Trigger that net 20 emote. All right, what do we got inside here? Ever, uh, Eversight ring. Cannot be blinded. Ooh, that could come in handy. Send that to Lazelle for now. I'm not sure what she's got ring-wise. Gold, radiant crystal, laculite. One step at a time. I've got a long road ahead. Burlap sack, what we got here? Anything? Nothing. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of other stuff in here. Nope. All right, let's head back out then. I think we've pretty much exhausted the morgue. All right. Come on, everybody. All right, let's get back up here. <clears throat> Now, the direction we need to go. Hang on. All right, he's still in there. Okay, we'll worry about that later. We need to head up this way. So, We got us a crate here. Nothing. All right, we got to go this way. <clears throat> oh, too far. Well, we've been near here before. Some little mausoleums, it looks like here.
All right. Now, <clears throat> we're still going in the right direction. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. <clears throat> Avoiding the list of Hmm. How long have you been standing there practicing it? A warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. <laughs> I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. And what dangers are those? We both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. <laughs> Fine. Paint me a picture. <clears throat> down in the dark, upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. That tells me absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Let's just roll for it just for the fun of it. Charisma. Alrighty. <clears throat> Paint me a clearer picture, Raphael. <clears throat> like me is very much of the infernal persuasion. Uh -huh. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. Hmm. All right. Insight. I'll deal with this menace, but do don't do not think us allies, fiend. I'd never think us allies, paladin. Perish the thought, and the devil too, if you be so kind. You have it in you to author a thrilling finale, if. You heed this warning. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten your tale, Astarian. When the beast is dead, I'll consider that payment enough. To translate those <clears throat> stars of yours. Some incentive. A fairer deal than I expected. You wound me, Spawn. I always deal fairly. And will close this particular deal soon enough. Vanquish the beast and all will be revealed. Hmm. And with that, that brings us here to
The entrance to the mausoleum. And with that, we are going to go ahead and bring things to a close. That is a perfect spot for us to save. Alrighty then. And whoops, my screen went down here. Oh, we'll do it this way. We'll go hit it that way. First time I ever... Oh, the whole thing shut down on me. Weird. All right, so my stream deck totally shut off, it appears. So let's get to the channel page where we want this to be f for ourselves. All right. So good to be back in the saddle again on Baldur's Gate 3 with Ben Damastain. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. The schedule the rest of the week will be Saturday, <coughs> hopefully at 1 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. Adjust your time zones accordingly. We'll be on the Wandering DMs channel for Scion, Birth of the New Gods, as we are godly, as our demigods are in the underworld, and we're about to be, I guess, apprehended by whatever police force they have in this. Underworld, underworld city that we have wandered our way into. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Then later on at 8 p.m. here on this channel will be Grepper's Keep, our WWE 2K23 universe, where a number of your characters from all of your favorite tabletop art role-playing genres compete in a ring that we lovingly call the Dice Tray. Get back in the swing with that. We've had our recent coronation tournament crown the Baron and Baroness of the Keep. And we're working our way towards the Fiendish Stockade <coughs> premium live event. Just a few more weeks until then. So, hopefully you can join us there for that. And then Monday nights is Family Night Deporium, where my daughter Bonnie and I work our, are working our way through Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, or as we prefer to call it, The Further Adventures of Mousetroid. So with, and we are working our way through Tatooine. As we are near the end of 100%ing that game out. So, let's go see who we can go raid. Who's out there? Let's see. Okay, PB is going. We may go there. Day to Dave. Okay. Emma Pumpkinberry. It's doing Red Dam Redemption. Wild Play. Meji. Lost Caravans. Let's go raid PB. PB plays inside. She is going on Mass Effect. So, Mass Effect 2, day 8, clearing out the mission log. So, we'll go ahead and join her there. If you like what you see here and you want to talk things for all the different games you do and other stuff as well, creative adventures and stuff like that. Join us on the link there for Discord. You can join us there. We have a special section there in Discord called the Prayer Closet. Here in this household, we believe in the power of prayer. We know it is real. We know it is powerful. We know that it works. If you have a need, if you have a concern, if you have a request, please place it there. And we will be praying for you. And this is not just a thoughts and prayers thing and then nothing happens. I have a page that I keep in Evernote just to keep track of all of the prayer requests that I have going on, whether it's through here or through other things as well. So if you need that, want that spiritual support, please feel free to place it in there. If it's something real personal that you don't want a lot of other people to talk about, but you still like that spiritual support, then just use the praying hands emoji. We'll take that as what we call an unspoken request, which means God knows what it is. You know what it is. We don't know, but we don't have to know. All we really need to know is that the need is there, and we'll be praying for you just as hard as if we knew what was actually going on. So please feel free to take advantage of that area of support if you would so like. If you like creative, we have creative endeavors going on there as well. If you're in the mood, if you're in the in the market for a customized dungeon master or game master screen, I build those. I have them on my Etsy site at Diet Water Productions there on Etsy. You can look us up there. 
I am in the process of building my own personal one here. It is a GM screen that's going to look like a mimic. So that's been, been it's been a lot of fun on the building of that so far, creating the plans for that from the ground up. So let's go with that. Let's go ahead and get ready to raid PB. So thank you all for coming, everyone. So until next time, may green be the grass below you, may blue be the sky above you, may stripe be the path before you, and warm be the hearts that love you. Good night, everybody. It is the best Twitch channel that is secretly an old-timey ice cream parlor on either side of the Mississippi or the Rockies. And you should hear about the specials. Monday nights is Bonnie's Bonbons, cream extravaganza with all the float sodas and sundaes you can shake a stick at. Uh, I can shake a stick at quite a lot of Sundays, but there is also a Fudge Roda Sunday special on Tuesdays, and the famous 1-2-3 Parfait on Wednesdays, where wrestlers meet up in the squared circle to work out their differences with some healthy wrestling-style fisticuffs. It is all good clean fun. Hawkeye's Old Time Gaming Emporium. Their milkshakes bring all the gamers to the yard, and their content is more exciting than any Nickelodeon. Take your horse and buggy to their address, twitch.tv forward slash KY Hawkeye. This has been a Diet Water production.